G'day, Sea Dog here. Welcome to my channel, my high school jewelry students. Okay, so we're going to begin our soldering process. We're going to just solder these two here. Importantly, I've got of the these little twists here nicely lined up at the end here. Probably could just nudge this one just slightly there. Like that. Okay, and I'm going to put a, a little bit of solder there. Um, and I've checked up here and they all still line up there too, so we're good to go. I'm just going to see if I can zoom this end in so we can just see this process a little bit better. So, yeah, I'm just going to solder this here right on the end so it's fixed. I've got a fairly runny flux which is, which I'm liking at the moment. I'm just going to pop that there and just double check everything along the length of it. Looks good. Got my solder pieces here. A little ball. even heat both sides until I can see it flow. There we go. So that end is nicely fused together. So then what I'm going to do is just flip my little rotating bench around and I'm going to these are not 100% staying together so I'm going to turn my flame off give it a tap and I might even put a little bit of tie wire, a bit of binding wire around those just to hold it in place while I solder that okay so I've got my binding wire here, it's just this stuff, it's extremely soft and it's very thin, you just get it at any jewellery supply shop. So I'm just going to chop a length of it off, not, not very long, about, I don't know, 75mm long. And I'm just going to use that to wrap around my little blank ring blank here, like so. And just give it a little twist. So with this binding wire, you can then just manipulate it with your fingers so it's sitting nice and flat. And I'm just going to pick a point on the ring here, We're right at the end here, that's touching beautifully. So I'm just going to pop a little bit of solder on there and maybe on, on a point a little bit further down as well. And then I can remove this because what I don't want to do uh, down the track is solder this wire here to the ring. Um, which it will do if you're not careful. So I'm just going to solder it, fix the end and then maybe one more and we'll see how we go. Back to my soldering. Yep, so I'm going to just fuse this one together with the solder. A little bit of flux. Beautiful. Just going to turn him off, have another little look at it. So, in looking at it nice and close, we've got some other ones that are joined pretty well, pretty well touching. So, while I've got it here, I'll just solder up one closer to the wire, probably this one here. Um, and then I'll probably take this wire off. Ah! 
Okay, and it looks like it's fairly well touching all the way along except for a couple of spots. But because we've started it, the soldering, and I can just nip it in. And parallel pliers are great for this, so I'm just gonna just nip these so it's closer together. And then I can just solder a few points all the way along. I'm doing all my soldering on one side here. Um, leaving this side to look a bit neater. This side will become the outside of the ring and the part where all the soldering is will be the inside just for tidiness reasons. So that's good, happy with that. So now all I need to do is just solder a few more points on the ring and then we're going to be good to go for cleaning the ends up, folding it round into a ring and soldering it together. So let's have a go at that. Okay, I'm going to cool it down now and just have a bit of a look. Okay, so here's quenched. Um, so here's quenched and I've got a join here, one here and one at the other end. So I'm just going to undo this wire and have a look. Okay, and it looks like it's fairly well touching all the way along except for a couple of spots but because we've started it the soldering and I can just nip it in parallel pliers are great for this so I'm just gonna just nip these so it's closer together and then I can just solder a few points all the way along I'm doing all my soldering on one side here um, leaving this side to look a bit neater this side will become the outside of the ring and the part where all the soldering is will be the inside just for tidiness reasons so that's good happy with that so now all I need to do is just solder a few more points on the ring and then we're going to be good to go for cleaning the ends up folding it round into a ring and soldering it together Okay, what I'm going to do is put that in the pickle, then I can have a really good look and just see if there's any more bits that need uh, soldering there. And so we'll come back to that, but I'll just chuck that in the pickle for now.